You are watching With a Cup of Tea, the High Plains Book Awards edition, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings, Montana. Now here's our show. Well, welcome to This House of Books. Today we have with us Wayne Arthurson, uh, author and, and finalist for High Plains Book Fest. And uh, Wayne, you have a, a book, it's a crime novel, and we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. But sure. maybe first we'll uh, talk about you. Uh, tell us a little about yourself. Well, as a, um, I'm a Cree and French Canadian author. Uh, my father was Cree, my mother's French Canadian. Uh, I grew up in Edmonton. I lived uh, many places in Canada because my father was in the Canadian Armed Forces. I was a journalist for a number of years. I'm still sort of like a freelance journalist. And I've been uh, writing novels since I was probably 21, 22. And I got my first one published when I was about 39. So it took a while for the book to be published. And I'm mostly known for my crime fiction. Um, I also write uh, historical nonfiction as well. Um, I write what we, I call history books for hire. Organizations hire me and write their histories, and I write the books for them, and they pay me money, and I get to write another novel. So that's okay. who I am in a nutshell. There's a lot more to me as well. You know, I'm a father, and uh, I have a lovely wife, and I play drums in a punk rock band, and I do a lot of different things like that. So, yeah. Wow, terrific. Okay. Yeah. Well, tell us a little about your book. It's a, it's a crime novel, but it sounds like you've really decided to mess with the genre a little bit. Yeah, The Red Chesterfield, is, um, it's a short book. Um, it's only like maybe 100 pages. And I sort of designed it that way to be short because, again, I wanted to mess with some of the tropes of crime novels because I've written a few traditional uh, crime novels. I was up for an award in 2016 at the High Plains for a quite traditional crime novel. Um, but this one, I just wanted to mess with sort of things that I sort of see in crime novels get repeated a lot. And I want to have fun with writing. That's the main thing. And this was a really fun book to write, to do something completely different and completely out of the blue and completely unexpected, uh, even for me, I think. It was, uh, it's, it's totally different than other stuff I've written before. So that's what the Red Chesterfield is most where the thing came from. And the novel is pretty much a uh, uh, bylaw officer finds a Red Chesterfield in a ditch. And then there's a severed foot inside. But instead of trying to figure out who killed the person with a separate foot, the bylaw officer is trying to figure out who threw the Red Chesterfield into the ditch so they can give him a ticket. And there's <laughs> other stuff going on there with family members and local strangeness. Uh, but it's just, it was fun. It's fun and entertaining, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, crime novels are, uh, you know, in my experience, range a lot. And uh, mm. uh, th there's, it comes to the point where there's so many of them just full of cliches and you know, you see the same stuff over and over. And it sounds like you've really uh, kind of taken the genre and just refreshed it in, a, in some interesting ways. I mean, there are a lot of great crime novels out there that I, uh, oh, yeah. I have to read. Um, there's a lot of new ones out there um, that are fantastic. But as you say, like in all sort of genres of literary, people start repeating things. And they sort of try to put these tropes in and cliches that um, some readers expect and some pre readers get tired of. And the crime novels, I'm one of those readers who gets tired of the cliches. And then I just want to play with them and have some fun and see if some people get them. And either they go, that's kind of funny, or they get mad at me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Um, well, let me. Uh... Let me ask a little bit about what audience did you have in mind when you uh, wrote this? I never have an audience in mind when I write a book. The only audience I have in mind is me. The only person I'm really trying to impress when I write a book is myself. And uh, I've been reading since I was a little kid. So I sort of know what, what works. I mean, I don't even have beta readers saying, well, do you think this works? And I don't even give it to my wife <clears throat> and ask her advice. You know, I I don't give it to anybody until I'm done and I try to hand it off to an editor. So I'm not trying to impress anybody except myself. And I think if I usually impress myself and I'm writing for myself instead of sort of an audience or a market, it works better that way. And I always try to give writers that advice. Don't try to write for a market or an audience. Try to write for yourself. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and then you'll probably succeed and it'll be more of an honest book that you're writing rather than something that's trying to pander or uh, fulfill expectations. Okay. So um, I'm thinking adults, uh, adults who like crime fiction. Mm -hmm. um, anybody else? What do you uh, adults who like crime fiction, um, people who like weird books, um, uh, humor, there's some humor in it. Uh, <laughs> there's someone called it magic realism, which is really kind of strange, but if you like that kind of stuff. I mean, if you just like a, a book, actually, that's a book that will, you can read in less than an hour. And so you can actually read the book before bed and not have to wait you know, oh, the next chapter is going to take 800 pages or so. It's like, oh, the next chapter is the next page because there's each chapter a page. So if you're looking for something that's quick and easy to read, there's that too. So if you're looking for something like that, it's uh, the Red Chesterfield has everything for everybody. <laughs> Yay, okay. <I> hope. <laughs> well, fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us. I, I really appreciate the time you take and uh, been a fun interview. Well, thanks for having me, Mark. It's great. Um, I'm glad to be part of this award and it's a uh, Billings is a wonderful place because I was there last time, as I said in an email and it's just the people were so welcoming and it's too bad COVID is preventing me from yeah. visiting Billings and having a good time like I did last time. Well, we'd, we'd love to have you down um, next time you're in town. Be sure to look us up. Sure. you bet. Uh, we'll see if we can set something up for you. All right. That's great, Mark. Thanks. Yeah, sure. All right. This program has been produced by This House of Books in collaboration with the High Plains Book Awards. The Book Awards were established to recognize regional authors and literary work that examines life on the High Plains. Nominations will be accepted starting in January 2021 on the website highplainsbookawards.org.